141 pounds, Victor Papa. Papa. His opponent in the red corner is wearing gold trunks trimmed in red. He weighs in at 140 and one half pounds. He's the 1980 U.S. Olympic Trials gold medalist in the light welterweight division. He has a record as a pro of four wins, no losses, three knockouts from Nashville, Tennessee, Johnny Bumpus. Bumpus. And the referee is Joe Cortez. So we're set for this eight-round junior welterweight bout. Johnny Bump City Bumpus, 20-year-old, who is 4-0 with three knockouts as a pro. His last bout, January 16th, San Antonio, Texas. He knocked out Jose Medina in the second round. Victor Papa, 17-1, with 12 knockouts out of Philadelphia, out of the gyms of Philadelphia, where you have to fight to survive. He's said to be a strong puncher, good body puncher, but... As we mentioned earlier, first time he's faced a southpaw. Scheduled for eight. Johnny Bumpus, who has grown to six feet, has that long right jab. So Papa will have to get very close to cut down that jab. Bumpus very tall for his weight classification. Very tall and very quick. He's a classical boxer. Very calm, very cool. Sets a pace in the first round. Papa has got eight rounds several times. The most that Bumpus has got is six. Papa's only defeat at the hands of Ernie Gladney earlier in his career. Beat Gladney in the rematch. Right hand thrown by Bumpus. You can't make mistakes with Bumpus. You cannot make mistakes with Bumpus. He is the quickest reflexes I've seen in a young man since Sugar Ray Leonard came on the scene. Bump said he may be the class of the June Olympic trials. He was the gold medal winner. And the 139-pound light welterweight division plans to follow the path of the 76 gold medal winner of that division, fellow by the name of Sugar Ray Leonard. We are live from Great Gorge, New Jersey, with tomorrow's champions. So far, he's he's followed Sugar Ray Leonard's script. He's just getting better every fight. He's fighting tougher opposition. Papa is tough. Halfway through round one. Bumpus, a southpaw, but his best punch is a right hook rather than the inside left. Always in excellent condition, as you can see. Papa's not taking advantage of the move that most boxers do when they fight left-handers, which is circling away, circling away from that powerful right jab that Bumpus puts in. He's standing right in front. That's a terrible error to make on, on Papa's part. Bumpus says he doesn't go out looking for a knockout because boxing is the art of landing more punches. Battles hit and not get hit. He is landing clear shots on Papa right now. He's landing clear lefts and rights. Papa doesn't seem to have any plan to fight him. He's not circling away from him. He's standing right in front of him. He's getting hit. He doesn't seem to block him. Papa to the body. All right, between rounds, we'll visit Bumpus's corner. Later on, we have Alex Ramos coming up. And a big day of sports here on NBC. Notre Dame and UCLA from South Bend, Indiana, following boxing from Great Gorge. Final seconds of round one. So to the corner of 20-year-old Johnny Bumpus. Out of Nashville, Tennessee, where he worked for the Nashville Sheriff's yeah. Department. Moved from Tacoma, Washington to Nashville to train with Clint Jackson's boxing program. He's the youngest of seven children, has six sisters, now lives in this area, and in fact will enroll at Glassboro State College this summer, majoring in business. The guy goes straight down the middle, in here. But when you throw it, you lean out. You grab it left. Yeah, 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 your left ball. Okay. Yeah. You throw that left ball, so you throw the left ball to the head. 
You got to throw it straight to the body like you did that guy up in, uh, in Brooklyn. You understand? Yeah. See, because you're missing it. Now look, when you get closed, you got to throw uppercuts. Yeah, ramp on my You understand? You got to throw uppercuts at him. All right. And we're set for round two. Scheduled for eight. Johnny Bumpus in the gold and Victor Papa in the white trunks. The three knockdown rule is waived. It is up to the referee to stop the bout. Mandatory eight count. And the bell cannot save the fighter, of course, unless it's the uh, final round. Scoring by rounds with the supplementary system utilized if they are even. Two judges and the referee score, and the referee is Joe Cortez. You can hear in the corner, the voice you heard was that of the, the terrific former middleweight Georgie Benton, who was telling him, shorten up in the jab, come in the middle, and come up with uppercuts, and don't forget to jab to the body, like you did in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, he took a man apart by just jabbing to the body, then coming over it with a right hand. Come on, jab. Corner's a very well-controlled corner with Lou Duva with, and Georgie Benton between them. They must have a century worth of experience in working in corners. And in Bumpus, they have a perfect machine to carry out their orders. Better gone by. Round two. Johnny Bump City. Bumpus with tassels. On his shoes, providing us with some showmanship. Last time I saw Tassels on a shoe, Ali put him on his shoes to fight uh, Frazier for the first time in the garden, and the Tassels were the things that you saw when they went up in the air when they knocked him on his yeah. back. So, they can work both ways. They can make you look good, and they can make you look bad. Hard punches being exchanged by both men in close. An exchange. Bumpus and Papa landing to the bottom. He's trying to execute. Bumpus is trying to execute what Georgie Benton said. Get in close. Make those punches short. Come up the middle. Go, go, oh, good left good hand by hand. Johnny Bumpus. And the right to the body. And again, delivered by Bumpus. Combination by Bumpus on a counter after Papa got inside. Good trading, but Pappas is losing slowly but surely. He's losing on points here. Final second, second round. On to round three, scheduled for eight. Johnny Bumpus in the goal. Come on, Stacy, watch yourself. And Victor Papa in the white trunks. Papa out of Philadelphia, a record of 17 and one with 12 knockouts, but obviously having his problems here with perhaps the class of the Olympic field back in June in Atlanta. Johnny Bump City Bumpus. And we'd have to say for to he and Tony Ayala and Alex Ramos. The class of our field. We'll see Tony Ayala Sunday, February 22nd, as tomorrow's champions will continue. And Bumpus took a straight right hand right to the jaw. I mean, that was straight as it can get. Not often you'll see him get hit that clean. Victor's got to come on. Victor Papa has got to come on here and take some of the play away from Johnny Bumpus, or Johnny will eat him up. He is letting Johnny dictate the tempo of the fight. He's letting him do all of the leading. He can't fight that way. Combination by, combination by Bumpus. Johnny Bumpus currently ranked number eight in the United States by Ring Magazine. Bumpus is slowly wearing down. He's taking a relentless beating to the face and body by Bumpus, who just seems to hit him at will. Halfway through round three, this is the fifth professional fight for Johnny Bumpus. 4-0, three knockouts. 
It comes off a second round KO last month. There seems to be a little fleck of blood on the yes. right side of uh, Pappas' face, and now on the right side of Bumpus' eye, there's a there's a, uh, blood streaming down. Doesn't seem to be that bad, but it is blood coming down on the right side of Bumpus' face. And it just may be that that fleck of blood that I saw on Pappas is not from Pappas, but it's from uh, Bumpus' cut. Let's see if that wakes up Victor Pappas and makes him a little braver here. And the referee, Joe Cortez, breaking the fighters. Cortez doing a good job. He's hardly been seen in this fight. Action from bell to bell. 15 seconds left. Round three. And we're scheduled for eight. And a good round for Victor Papa. Bertie, what do you make of that cut? Is it serious? A very little cut on the right brow. It's not serious except for the fact that any cut is serious. Uh, when you stand, when you're looking at the outcome of the fight, it should make Papa fight very uh, exuberantly. He has a target to aim for. Previous to this, all three rounds I've given to Bumpus. Now, on the other hand, it may uh, predicate Bumpus changing his style and gets in a left hand. And Johnny may be looking to end it here. It certainly made him mad, didn't it? They did excellent corner work in the corner. Combination by Bumpus, and he has Papa in trouble. Is Papa one tough customer? He certainly has taken some shots to the face. And still trying to come back with something. Bumpus landing on Papa here throughout this fourth round. Suffered the cut in the last round. And would like to conclude matters, does not want that cut to get any worse. You mentioned it's not serious, but of course, it can develop as long as the fight continues. Papa is taking absolutely straight rights and lefts to the face. He doesn't even try to put his gloves up to protect him. He's guts enough. He comes back. You mentioned earlier, Ferdy, that uh, Papa was not attacking the left hand of Bumpus properly. He, he has no, no motion. He doesn't circle. He doesn't stay away. He doesn't position himself to be able to punch and counter punch. He stands right in front of him, almost as if you'd drawn a blueprint by Bumpus's corner and say, please stand in front so my <laughs> fighter can punch you at will. <laughs> Don't make him work hard. Don't make him look for it. But Papa did have that good third round, landing that straight right hand early. Well, he's certainly getting an expensive lesson on how to fight left-handers. I think he would have, should avoid left-handers until he learns how to fight them. Johnny Bumpus, 20 years old, out of Nashville, Tennessee. Gold medal winner at the June Olympic Trials. Great amateur. And we are final seconds of the fourth round. And this is round five. Johnny Bumpus, Victor Pappas, scheduled for eight in a junior welterweight matchup here in Great Gorge, New Jersey. Marv Albert and the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. As we bring you more of tomorrow's champions, we've talked about the record of Pappas, 17 and 1, which indicates experience, but you look at these two uh, boxers, and it seems that Bumpus is the man with more experience because of his amateur success. He was 341 and 16 as an amateur. That's similar to uh, Bernard Taylor. 
Another think, man featured on NBC. I, I think, uh, Marv, what you're looking at is a difference in quality, not quantity. Uh, the quality of these two fighters is evident as you watch them. Uh, one is a very polished fighter already. He's had four fights. And the other one has had 18 fights and still has not learned the basic uh, rudimentary steps in fighting a southpaw. His corner seems to be incapable of instructing him how to do it. Referee again doing a good job, staying away from the fighters, letting them punch away. And it gone by round five. The referee is Joe Cortez, one time flyweight, lightweight, amateur and pro, a gold clubs champ. Papa sometimes reminds me of a very early Vito Anafermo. And when Vito was learning how to fight, this is the kind of fight he had. He stumbled and fumbled around, and somehow he was always standing in front of you, and somehow he's always beating you. And he did that all the way to the championship. Anafermo, colorful, rough, tough fighter. Ooh, good left hand by Bumpus. Beautiful left uppercut, which just swung the head back of Papa. And the combination by Bumpus as Papa hangs in. Bumpus able to get off some combinations on Papa. Back in round four, Papa landed that straight right hand that hurt Bumpus in round three. And Bumpus suffered a minor cut by the eye. The cut has no longer been affected. Stopped by the corner, and it doesn't seem to be any getting any bigger. It doesn't seem to be affected. Beautiful left uppercut to the body by Bumpus. Yes. Oh, and another combination by Johnny Bumpus. It's amazing, Victor Papa does not blink. He just doesn't change expression. He has that stolid expression on his face. You can't tell when you hurt him. And he's taken a series of hard hits in this round. Well, any fight expert will tell you it's those combinations that hurt when you get two and three punches at a time, and that's the way Bumpus punches. Look at that three-punch combination he just threw just then. Under 10 seconds left in round five. And clearly a round for Johnny Bumpus. Seems to be getting And Ferdy looks like that cut has been well taken care of. Good corner men, good corner men stop cuts, and he's got the best in his corner. And so it's this is of no consequence in this fight right now. The cut is not a fact. And this is round six. The most that uh, Johnny Bumpus has gone is six rounds. Victor Papa has gone eight on several occasions. Papas is opening up a little bit stronger. He, he wants his corners told him, you're way behind. You got to go out and start something. Following our presentation of tomorrow's champions, we have Notre Dame and UCLA coming up here on NBC. That is uh, one of the superb rivalries in sport. They'll meet at South Bend, Indiana today, and then NBC Sports World. Next week, we have a dandy, a 10-round middleweight bout, Curtis Parker and Mustafa Hamshaw on Sports World next Sunday, starting at 3. And that's a battle I am really looking forward to. That is one of the ones that the boxing world is looking forward to. Two very busy fighters. And uh, two that can just sit still and wait for a title shot. They don't need to fight each other, and they're doing it, which is what boxing should be all about. The two very best meeting, and the best from that to progress forward to the championship. And that'll be next Sunday from Atlantic City, Curtis Parker and Mustafa Hancho, and perhaps a fellow by the name of Marvin Hagler waiting in the wings. He should be. You can't get better than Curtis Parker and Mustafa Hancho. Halfway through, Round six, Johnny Bumpus continuing to land on Victor Papa. Papa came out to take the play away from Bumpus. Bumpus allowed him that luxury for about 30 seconds, and he's come back in another good left hand. He lands that straight left with amazing accuracy. Johnny Bumpus faking the bolo punch, looking very confident. He's doing a little play acting. And... Uh, I know Lou Duva's not too happy about that. He's a boxing purist. He doesn't like him to be uh, wise guys to show off. He wants him to just get down and fight. Ferdy Bumpus now fighting on his toes. He began flat-footed. Well, he's such a fight. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like to see a fighter take a nice deep breath, which all it says to you is, hey, I'm tired. I want to take a little pause here. Should never, should never show your opponent that you're tired or you want uh, a little break in the action. 
You might show them your board, but you can't show them your tires. And this represents the longest that Bumpus has gone as we finish up in round six. We'll be back right after these words. Johnny Bumpus, another look at the cut over the right eye of Bump City. You can see that it's nothing. It's not, it has not bled for the last two rounds. Georgie Seven Benton rounds. says, don't lay up. He's very tired. Keep going to the body. He's weary. Don't give him a break. Keep going. Let's start going, buddy. Keep those hands up. Don't get careless now. Floor, now. Don't be jumping up too high, right? Don't get careless. The advice from the corner of Johnny Bumpus, it is clearly Bumpus's fight as we go to round seven, but Victor Papa, although taking a pretty good lashing, has uh, been able to hang on his feet. If he's got any kind of a chance, it's now. In, in these later rounds, when it figures that Bumpus should get tired. His superior experience and age should tell now, and he should try to come on. Unfortunately, the quality is different. Here comes, here comes Papa now, and Bumpus is willing to trade with him which may be a mistake. You can clearly see that he outspeeds and out-reflexes Papa. Papa starts to throw a punch and two punches have landed by Bumpus. He's very, very fast today. Again, Bumpus showing much confidence, dancing on his toes. Papa throwing everything in every punch, hoping one of them comes home. One of them stops his whirlwind he's got in front of him. It reminds me a lot of a great welterweight that I worked with named Louis Manuel Rodriguez, welterweight champion, who just was non-stop action. He wouldn't stop. Knocked more people out from pity patting him than he did with one hard punch. Papa's hope here, though, he has to look for a surprise, and he came out looking for that here in round seven. Hoping that Bumpus will accept the toe-to-toe -to -toe challenge and in some way that he can get that punch in. But every time he's accepted the challenge, Bumpus has outspeeded him. And the quality is evident, even then. As combinations continue to rain on Victor Papa. They'll be lucky. They're getting their heads very close together. They'll be lucky if they don't bump each other. Which would be a crime this late in the fight. Now that's not how Johnny Bumpus got his nickname. <laughs> and let's not have another watch so great even Oh, great. good right hand by Bumpus. seven and Papa looking very weary. We'll show you some of the earlier action between rounds as we conclude round seven scheduled for eight Victor Papa and Johnny Bumpus. And Victor Papa is one who is used to taking punishment for it. He came off the floor three times in one particular fight, came back to uh, knock out his opponent, Arsenio Green. This is 19th professional fight, 17 at one, 12 knockouts. This the eighth and final round. Scoring is by round supplementary point system at the round is even. Two judges and the referee score. The referee is Joe Cortez, and the judges today, Bill Costa and Charlie Spina. Well, certainly no one can question Victor Papa's stamina and his heart. He's right in front of him. He's fighting hard. He has not quit for one second of this round. Anywhere along here, he could have dogged it. He has not done so, and he still thinks he's got a chance. He's fighting this last round. Meanwhile, Bump is looking very fresh, stinging jabs on his toes. I can't see how they can keep Bumpus away from 10-round action very, very short. Oh, he's just gotten Victor hit. He just Papa got hammered. Surprise, Bumpus, who is smiling, showing that he is not hurt. 
He got hammered. He's got two minutes to go, so if he's in trouble, but he's not. He's laughing, and he's moving around. He's on his toes, but for a moment, it shocked the crowd. Bump for Simpik heading to his corner. He's all right, but he took some chances. Looking confident. A minute 43. If he is wobbly underneath, you'll find out now. Well, that was the surprise Victor Papa was looking for. And he did rock Bumper, so the Bumper says he's okay. And that's what boxing's all about. You just, oh, he's taking terrible punishment right now. Bumper's right above us, landing hard. There doesn't seem to be any steam to Victor's punches. Papa doesn't seem to be punching hard. And Victor Pepper finishing with a flurry. Pepper's just throwing everything he's got in every punch. Pepper looks like he's about to go down and then is able to throw an occasional right and left. And he has hurt Bumpus in this eighth round on several occasions. 30 seconds left. Eighth and final round. And a lot of things happen in this last 30 seconds. As you well know, Marv, 21 seconds. Bumpus looks all right. And Johnny Bumpus with 10 seconds remaining will win it by decision. And it should be a decisive decision, although Victor Papa did show us some occasional flurries. Very hurt Victor. And an ovation from the crowd here at Great Court, New Jersey. And the ovation is for Victor Papa. That last round made up for all the beating he took in the previous seven rounds. Victor Papa and Johnny Bumpus concluding their eight rounder. As you take a look at some of the earlier action, we'll be back with the decision right after we pause for these messages. We're going to leave. And we're all set for the decision, so let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision. Judge Charlie Spina scores eight rounds. Bumpus, none for Papa. Judge William so Johnny Bumpus, Bumpus goes 5-0 and oh Bumpus, as a pro, but you heard the reaction. Papa. Victor Papa, the crowd favorite, finishing off very Bumpus, strong against round, Johnny Papa, Bumpus. Winner by unanimous decision, Johnny Bumpus. Johnny Bumpus. So upcoming, we have Alex Ramos and Marciano Perez.